Greetings all. Effed Up World proves that EQ mounts work on a globe, thereby debunking Flat Earth. Let's just hear it straight from Effed Up World, shall we? Effed Up World, also as you seem to own a telescope, please explain how an equatorial mount works. That explanation should be a real LOL. Well, Wikipedia says an equatorial mount is a mount for instruments that compensates for Earth's rotation by having one rotational axis parallel to the Earth's axis of rotation. And then Wikipedia says Earth's rotation is the rotation of planet Earth around its own axis. Earth rotates eastward in a prograde motion as viewed from the North Pole star Polaris, Earth turns counterclockwise. I don't believe that Earth rotates at all. I believe the sky rotates. So an equatorial mount actually proves something that a lot of people wouldn't want it to prove. But if we're honest with ourselves, let's ask the question, does the Earth rotate or does the sky rotate? Well, let's put that to the test. Here we have the celestial sphere and planet Earth. And nothing's moving at all in this picture. So let's simulate this and see what happens. Well, if we have a rotating Earth, then the stars will appear to rotate. Hmm. But let's see what happens if we stop the Earth from spinning and make the sky rotate, shall we? Ooh, we get the same thing. How interesting. However, I would like to point out that there's a very common thread here. It's called a sphere. Spheres are everywhere. Oh no! Well, looks like Flat Earth is going to have a hard time debunking this, considering that a Flat Earther is the one that debunked stars rotating around a flat Earth. Good job, Eftop World. Thanks for the help. And for more breaking news, stay tuned, because we always have more things coming up. If you would like to keep your planet from being invaded, be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, this is Loki Fish Mars.